Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So we got to talk about Dylan Brooks already this season, man. He earned a reputation as a dirty player last season. Might have started a little bit before last season, but it, you know, came to a head last season where he was involved in plays with high-profile players such as LeBron James, you know, and over the summer, Luka Doncic. You know, he was involved with him. And now we're seeing the same play that happened to LeBron, happened to Daniel Tice. And I think people are growing impatient with his behavior because now it looks like this is just who he is. And you hate to say that about a player, but much like Grayson Allen and his tripping, he's starting to become identified with these acts. Instead of, you know, the good defense and the hustle and tenacity that he brings. I'm going to show you that play. Then I'm going to show you uh, his interaction with LeBron James last season and what he said after that. And when you have a guy that just makes you have a long night. <laughs> There's another one, a bit of an elbow there to Tice, who is shaking up a little bit. And now, I love now, it. And now Tice and Brooks have some words with one another. Again, that one below the belt. Unnecessary contact, but obviously they also thought it was excessive contact for Dylan Brooks. So his first outing with the Rockets here in the preseason is a short-lived one as he was just hit with them. There it is right there with the left arm. This will be fascinating because it is in very recent memory yes. we've seen Draymond Green adjudicated for his history. And Dylan Brooks led the league with 18 technical fouls, obviously led to a suspension in the course of the regular season. That looks like a direct shot. You say you've been, doing, you've been dealing with this for the past few years. What is this? What do you mean by that? The media making me a villain. The fans making me a villain. And then that just creates a whole different persona on me. So now you think I intended to hit LeBron James in the nuts. I'm playing basketball, a basketball player. So if I intended and that's whatever the whatever is in the fragrant two um, uh, category of having a fragrant two and you think I did that, that means you think I'm that type of person. And that's why I don't rate Mark Taylor at all. So, yeah, um, looking at Dylan Brooks in this incident, this isn't a good start to a new Houston Rockets situation. I thought this was the perfect ideal location for him to reinvent himself a little bit and not as far as his defense and his game. You know, I thought he would... Go here, drown out some of the noise, some of the expectation the Grizzlies have, and bring his shooting numbers back up, get back to defending, maybe some hard fouls still. You can keep hard fouls within your identity, but the below-the-belt plays is where it goes somewhere else, and it's not particularly uh, well-received around the league, and it's actually frowned upon, and I was hoping that this young man would do that. But here we are today, and... Looking at Dylan, man, I think he's a fine player. I would personally love to have him on my team. Uh, he can get wrapped too tight in his emotions, it looked like. And this is what you don't want from these type of players because the game can take on a life of its own in a negative way, and it impacts the team in a negative light after a while. You don't benefit from the tenacity and... It's much like, you know, an undisciplined ninja. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you just going around just causing mayhem and havoc because you can. You know, that's no good to the team. And, and so I'm looking at him and I'm like, man, you know, Fred Van Vliet is the voice of the locker room. Jeff Green, you know, he should be another voice, common factor for I look at him, the mentor, like the Jabari Smith Jr.'s. Um, Say Sengun, all of the me, you know, the wing players to bigs. I look at Dylan Brooks and Fred Van Vliet to mentor the guards and the wings. But if he's engaging in this type of behavior, it can have a negative impact on like Jalen Green and those guys. They need to be a little tougher, but they don't need to hit below the belt, man. I'm hoping he get this out of his game, but I want to know what you guys think about him. Is he a dirty player or is this simply another mistake? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.